everybody. It's Phil Black, founder and creator of Fit Deck Exercise Playing Cards. Thanks for joining us again. If you missed the video that introduced this tutorial, when you get a chance, go back and check that out. It'll, it'll really bring you up to speed on what Fit Deck body weight for iPhone is really all about. This video will give you the, the taps and the swipes and walk you through how to get the most out of your Fit Deck body weight for iPhone in the basic mode for those Fit Deck purists who want their iPhone app to be just like the physical deck of cards. And then there'll be another video tutorial after this to unlock the advanced mode and see what other types of effects and, and cool little trickery will be in there. So thanks for joining us again and enjoy the tutorial. Welcome back everyone. You are now looking at an Apple iPad with FitDeck body weight installed and we chose to have it to display it on the Apple iPad because it's got the biggest area to be able to see and navigate and understand what's going back and forth and I hope that's going to be clear as we move through here. You can see the FitDeck body weight icon down there. You have just downloaded it and we are going to go through it as if that's the first time you're going through it and then we'll go through a what the advanced mode looks like and then we'll do that 15 second challenge. Can you get in there and create a workout so that you're on the floor doing something in 15 seconds? So let's start with the tutorial as if this is the first time you're going in there. So you're going to click into your FitDeck bodyweight workout. You're going to see a very clean, crisp user interface, very user friendly. You're going to see there's information cards, warm up and stretching cards, your body weight which you just downloaded, and then additional Fit Deck titles. And ultimately these will be available for in-app purchase as well as mixing and matching different decks together. There's going to be a pop-up that says, please review all the information cards before you begin your workout. And that's to make sure that you're aware of warming up and stretching and making sure you're physically capable of doing the exercises. So why don't we do that? We go into the information section and this shows you that there's a tap and a swipe. Those are the two main functions, tapping and swiping. The tap will bring the menu bar down and up so you can navigate around and the swipe will get you from card to card. Now I'm not going to go through each one of these cards, it gives you the categories and how to use it and getting started and warming up and stretching. So review that and then go back to that root menu. Then you might check out warm up and stretching. This gives you some stretching fundamentals and why you should stretch and how. And then it gives you a cool little sneak peek at a couple basic fit deck stretch cards which will help you get going before you do your workout. Tap and back to the main menu. Now the first time, if this is your first time, it's not going to happen for me now because I've gone into body weight many times, but if this is the first time you're launching into FitTech body weight, an alert will pop up and it will say, alert. This is to remind you that you are in basic mode. Basic mode is to preserve the trademark simplicity of FitDeck. In other words, there's not going to be any advanced mode or functions at all while you're in this mode and we'll see how that looks. And if you're somebody who um, I'll be the first to admit it, I do it sometimes, ignore some of these alerts and you just hit OK, 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 OK because you want to get down to business. You may miss it the first time and maybe I think it's seven or eight or nine attempts to get back into body weight. Another friendly reminder will come up again and say, just to remind you, you understand that you're in basic mode, right? Just because some people may not get it the first time, we want to make sure everybody knows that basic mode is basic mode and many people will leave it in basic mode. They just want the, just like they had a deck, a deck of cards. Other people will want to turn the advanced features on and see what else, what other cool digital functions we've built into this right off the bat. So I'm going to go into body weight and you're not going to see that initial alert because I've already been in there and I've already turned advanced on and off and it knows that I have been initiated. So right now you are in there. You are a basic Fit Deck user just like if you had the cards and you're starting your workout. Bing, go, bang. You are in there just like you shuffle the cards and flip them down and you're doing one card at a time. Now what else can you do while you're in here? You may say, well with a regular physical deck of cards I can shuffle the cards. Can I do that with this? Sure can. You tap to reveal the bars. You hit this little shuffle icon and you hit Reshuffle deck. That is the equivalent of you physically shuffling the deck. You can do that as many times as you want until you're feeling lucky and you get the right combination of cards. So someone else might say, well, 
I want to be able to fan the cards out and see what type of, of array of cards I have, what order the cards are in. Can I do that? You sure can. You can go up there in the top right and go to card list. Card list will give you exactly what combination of cards and in what order your shuffle just gave you. And if you want to see it in action, you can hit reshuffle and see them all get reconfigured and do it again. And you can see as they come out, oh, I like this workout, oh, I want to shift this workout. So then the last thing you, can, you might want to ask of something that you do with the physical cards and can you do it with the mobile device is, I'd like to do a, an upper body workout only. I did legs yesterday or I have a, in my lower back's bothering me. I don't want, I, all I want to do is upper body workouts. And if I have my physical cards, I just take everything but the blue cards and I put them away. I put them in a separate pile over on the counter and I take my blue cards and I do my upper body workout. Can I do that with the mobile version? Yes, you can. You go to the bottom left corner and you hit the category icon. That will bring up all these categories and you can turn on or off filter any of the different categories. So in that particular request, the quickest thing to do would be turn all the categories off and then turn your upper body on. Now the only thing when you create your workout or shuffle the cards, the only thing that will be available are the blue cards, as you see here. So I'll shuffle these up again. Nothing but blue. Now I want to do my workout, and here it is. Blue, 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 blue. All blue cards, that's your upper body workout. That's basically it in basic mode. It allows you to just get going right away with the cards. It allows you to have the view as if you're fanning them out to see what order they're in. And it allows you to filter out different categories of exercises that you may or may not want to do. Now, if you read that alert that popped up and said, by the way, you're in basic mode. If you want to go into advanced mode, go down to this peel up icon in the bottom right corner. So when you turn on the menus, right down here in the bottom right corner, you hit, you hit that peel up menu. The peel up will, will, menu will give you some options down here. I'm not going to go into all the options. I'm just going to go into the settings option, which is where you turn advanced mode on. Now you have some digital embellishments that we'll see how they work. And there are some other things here about how, how often you want the toolbar to hide and, and how many seconds the timers go on and all those little neat things that you can do on your own if, uh, if you so choose.